Hey there, my name is Kyle and I'm with ServerComp along with my brother. He's manning the recording uh, behind there for me today and it's all going to be nicely shot in 4K which I'm excited about. So anyway, I'm actually really excited too because as you can see here, maybe Travis can look at the screen, you should understand that this is actually a Amazon Fire Stick. It's actually the new one, the 2021 version and this kind of ties with my other video, my previous video about uh, using this uh, plugin, HDMI plugin, uh, using the, I think it's called a, a U plug or something like that. Anyway, I was really kind of annoyed because this was really finicky and it wasn't working for some reason. So I was messing around. I knew I had a fire stick. So I was wondering, hey, if, if you can play like videos like on uh, using Chromecast by clicking the button on uh, uh, YouTube that I could figure that maybe that something would co sync with that, which for some reason it wasn't. And so anyway, I'm going to teach you how to uh, like put a tablet connecting a computer and connecting a mobile device. And this is just the new Samsung. I think it's called a, a A5, I think, and it's a 5G that we just recently got. So it's perfect. And I could record the screen with this, which I'll do in a second. So. First of all, if your screen is not connecting, and I'll show you the appropriate steps from what I recorded uh, from the feed. But anyway, first of all, make sure your Amazon uh, stick is obviously updated. So you just go to settings, and this is the newer one. All of them are a little different. And you go to My Fire TV, and I don't know if a lot of people actually know about this. And then you go to the About. It took me a while to figure it out. And you go check for updates and blah, blah, blah. I already checked it for updates. And then that's the first step. And secondly, if you have a VPN, I use a VPN. I actually bought mine Express VPN. Uh, I can't remember the price, but it's like, I think it's like 20 bucks, I think. Maybe 10 bucks, I think. I can't, I can't remember, but it's pretty cheap. Uh, I, I don't like using those uh, really uh, fake free ones because they don't go as fast. So this was actually the, the troublemaker with me. Why couldn't it connect my devices? So make sure this is actually turned off. I don't know why, but there must be something weird with the IP that kind of prevents it from uh, entering the system. So now the first thing I guess I'll share is uh, how to share this computer screen to my uh, to my Chrome. So the first thing you want to do is hopefully you could see this. And what you do is you got to hold the home button for a while. I never knew about this until I just started looking up. So it'll show up this, and you actually have to turn on mirroring. I, I thought it was really strange because I thought this Amazon thing would automatically show up and you can't automatically connect to it, but that's not true. So the first thing you do is hit mirroring, and it will show this Addix Fire TV, which is the, the, the name of the Fire Stick. So we can go to the computer here, and I'll show you the steps that I'm recording actually on here. So and the first thing you do is actually you have to go to the message box. I never knew about this either until I researched this. The message box. And you have to go to, uh, yeah, so you have to be careful because it might uh, actually uh, not be expanded. So you got to go to expand and then you got to go to connects in the lower left. So you hit connect and then it should search the device, add expire TV. And it's going to connect, hopefully. And make sure your Express VPN's off on the computer too. So uh, it should show up on the screen. Yep. So it's actually showing up as a second monitor. So I'll have Travis stay there and I'll drag this on here and that should work. And you can just play it. And this is all from the computer, folks, which is cool. So that works for that. So we'll pause that and let's disconnect it from here. And now I'll show you how I do it from the tablet. All right, so it's gonna capture everything in the higher quality version. So 
What you got to do is do the same thing again. Hold the home until this pops up. And then you go to mirroring again. So it will allow it to be searched. So this tablet uses something called smart things, but there should be a thing that calls smart view. Uh, and then you click that and this should connect, hopefully. And we'll see here, you gotta scroll all the way down and it's connecting. All right, there you go. So now you got the tablet and you could see uh, everything that I'm doing. Uh, you'd like to play my Yu-Gi-Oh video game. And it's cool because it connects to the actual sound as soon as it starts up. And there you go. Let it start up. And then you could play, which is really cool. So anyway, we got one more device to test. Let's turn this one off, hit exit. This is really, really simple. It's a lot more easier than using that mirror plug thing, which was just, it was just horrible. I don't, I don't know, I don't know why it was so horrible, but it wouldn't connect and you always have to disconnect. The, the Bluetooth wouldn't work, but anyway, we'll move on to my device. Again, you hit the home button again. This is a review, hold home. Go to mirroring, make sure it, it senses it. And all you do have to just scroll down and there should be a smart view. So this is the same option as a tablet. So you hit smart view and click the, the device that you wanna connect and sit, start casting with it and it should start up. So yeah, it's great that if you have a Fire TV, a Chromecast, which is Google's, Amazon is a Fire Stick and I, I didn't, I'm not sure about the Roku. Possibly it could probably do this, likely yes. But anyway, so you can actually, uh, uh, play your YouTube, watch your videos. My brother and I have been trying to watch uh, our uh, computer technician uh, A-plus certification. Uh, I passed, but my brother's trying to still pass it. And I will be making a video about how to pass the A-plus uh, in a second, but uh, let's just test it to see if it actually works. So it's really cool, it's, 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 it's awesome. This is actually a recent video I, uh, I posted. Travis and I like to do, uh, my brother and I like to do uh, uh, interview videos with various Korean adoptees or adoptees in general and we end up doing a, a, a video with this adoptee girl that actually end up having to go through uh, fight against rapes and and uh, physical abuse and all that that stuff but anyway as you can see you could just watch it on here and you can make it full screen too which is really cool so you can see how simple it is so if this is not a smart TV, so this is why you need an Amazon Fire Stick, but now my dad has a Samsung uh, TV downstairs. It's a 60 inches, I believe. And you could easily go to the smart view because dad's uh, TV, uh, which, is, which is not that new, it, it has the ability to connect because that is a smart TV. So you just hit a smart view and it should be able to show uh, one of your the devices on here, which yeah, and you can mess with people uh, doing this kind of thing. So this is kind of the, the quick how-to. And you'll just have to trust me. Dad's TV will show up like Samsung 6, and you can just click it, and it'll automatically show down. But you don't need that fire stick. But any other than that, I think that's really it. Again, we'll review it quickly. You can connect to your computer, your tablet, uh, your mobile device. Uh, click in the smart view. And in the computer, it's called connect. And... Uh, you, uh, you obviously have to hold the home button on the Amazon Fire Stick and it'll show up the, the, the option, which I'm sure not many people know about, and you click that and then it'll, uh, it'll allow the Fire Stick to be uh, read through the, the network it's on and you can click it and just do whatever you want and it makes things really portable and fun and you can watch it on really big screen TV. Uh, is there any other questions you have? I think that's it. All right, thanks everybody. You have a good one.